What's up guys? So I've been getting a lot of messages about this particular subject on why I decided to stop competitive bodybuilding. So I'm just going to lay it all out there. It's not to offend anyone that is in the industry or to necessarily demean anybody that's still in it because I do still support you guys and I still want to see you guys be successful and get your pro cards. It's just not the route that I want to take anymore. So as everyone knows, I won a competitive show last July. I won the Gold's Classic overall in bodybuilding. And anyone that knows me knows that I put my heart and soul into everything that I do, especially when it came to bodybuilding. I pretty much killed myself to get in the shape that I was for that show. I spent a lot of money with the registration fees and deadlines here and just the tanning and just the food and supplementation, everything that goes into winning a show. In my mind, I'm thinking, let me put everything I have into this show, win this show, and things will start to take off from there. And yeah, they did. I got more online clients, I got more followers, I got that aspect of it. But I got nothing but a trophy for it. I killed myself. I mean, doing cardio in the morning, dragging at work, literally having to sit down, depleting myself to, to just, just death to obtain that conditioning that I was in for that show. And that's part of bodybuilding. I get it. I signed up to do that, and I absolutely love the process of getting in shape. And if there was something on the end of it, a back or a return, I wouldn't mind doing it again. But the thing is, is all I got is a trophy. I didn't get. I have to pay for my pictures for the show. I've got to. I had to email judges to get scorecards. I had to pretty much do everything. I did everything possible to win that show, and I got nothing back for it. It's not some small local show. It was a pretty big show here in North Carolina. So in my head, I'm thinking, like, why did I do all this? Yes, I know you're supposed to do things because you love it and because your heart is in it, and that's why I did it. And I shouldn't necessarily expect the return, but when you kill yourself to get in the shape that I did, you should get something on the back end of it. That's part one reason why I had to stop, or I no longer am a competitive bodybuilder. I still lift weights. I still lift heavy. I still eat big. I still want to be a muscular and have a muscular physique. But now I'm focusing more on running, doing things like that. Like yesterday I ran five miles. Next weekend I'm going to run 10. Like that to me is important along with weights for longevity and health. I'm also an athlete. I played three sports in high school and there's no reason why I should bound myself with so much muscle that I can't move. I can't jump. I can't run. I'm breathing heavy. Just, just walking somewhere, like that's not the route I wanted to take. And in order for me to get to a professional level, I feel like that is eventually the route that I have to do. Yes, I can be competitive on a local level, but to compete with pros and to, to do all of that, it's gonna take a lot of financial backing and some unhealthy risks that I'm just not willing to take. If you guys are, of course, I support you. I support everyone that I've competed against and, and I want you guys to be successful, win shows, get your pro card, get sponsorships and things. Again, it's just not the route I'm willing to take. Number two is kind of an add-on to what I just said, is going back to being an athlete. I'm going to be doing Spartan races and obstacle course races, and I look forward to doing a full marathon sometime in the near future. Like These are things that, to me, are more important than a shredded glute contest or how conditioned can I get. And that, to me, is, is, is most important. I run a business, I'm the owner of TND Fitness, and I feel like that is showing clients that what can be attainable. The look that I present on stage is not attainable. It's attainable for one day and it's not something that you can hold on to. Diuretics play a big role in it, uh, water depletion, sodium depletion, other supplementation, things that put your body at a state of just near death to look like you look on that one day. And that is not to take away from the way anyone looks, but that's just part of it. My last reason is the, the way that the industry is. I got into the industry to motivate people and to be real with people. And it seems to me that that's not what people are gravitating towards. They're gravitating towards, and no disrespect, fitness girls who show their butts every day and let's say booty pump this and booty pump that and, and are not necessarily making any gains whatsoever or, or guys who just, Hey, I'm just going to compete, bro. Like, this is the cool thing to do. When it started becoming the cool thing to do, I no longer had interest in it because everyone is freaking doing it. They have a category for everyone. 
like anyone, like anybody that looks any certain way, you can get on stage and, and you don't necessarily have to work hard for it. And I'm not saying bikini girls don't work hard because you guys absolutely do. But what I get tired of doing, and the reason why I also deleted my Instagram is because I scroll down my Instagram and all I see is glorified, over-sexualized men and women. That to me is not the epitome of fitness. That is not fitness in the least. Fitness to me is being able to push your body, have a muscular physique, being able to run, jump, whatever anybody can, can ask you to do that you're able to do it. And that to me is fitness, not just... How good can I look in a, in a freaking filtered picture where I put the structure on it and I crank it all the way up to the top and I look super, super jacked and shredded. Like that's what it became. And that's, I fell into that trap and I just started to see that that's not the route I wanted to take. Like I see people that have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers and to me, they're no better than me. They just know how to filter. They know how to market and they're over sexualizing themselves to get to where they are. That's never going to be me. I respect myself too much. I respect my wife too much. I respect my overall, my brand and who I am as a person. It's a lot of stuff that goes on in this industry that maybe I'll talk about one day, but I, it's just not something I want to go down that route and necessarily explain 100% what I'm talking about. But it's just not obtainable. It, it just really isn't. And do I respect like the pros that look their way? Yes, they bust their butts, but there's so much more that goes into it that I'm just not willing to go down that route. Ever since I've changed my approach to training, I feel so much better. I feel just overall healthy. I feel like I feel like an athlete again. And feeling like an athlete to me is what I ultimately wanted to do to begin with. And I kind of got down the road of how big can I get? How muscular can I get? And that just that held me back. I mean, I couldn't run two freaking miles at 210 pounds. I mean, or whatever, you know, 220, 225 to be a pro. Like, am I going to be able to go outside and play with my kids and run two miles? Like, am I gonna be able to do that without being winded? Just for the sake of being, looking big and looking muscular? So uh, over the next couple months, you'll probably see me downsize even more. I'm down about three to four pounds and at about two or five. Like I said, I'm running good, I'm feeling good. But to me, that is the most important thing. Like just overall health. And that's what the fitness industry should represent, but it's not representing that. So to all you guys who are still competing, Again, this is not to disrespect you guys. I will be at your shows. I will be watching you progress because I do love the sport. I mean, the artistic part of it, the part where you can see somebody go from where they are to, to where they're going to be. It's, just, it's, it's awesome to see. But for me, like that's just not what I want to do. And who knows? A year from now, I might change my mind. I mean, they say once you get bit by the bodybuilding bug, it never leaves you. But I think that pushing myself in other avenues... Like that's gonna be that's gonna be what sets me apart from a lot of other people is to be muscular but still be able to do crazy things. So that's pretty much the reason why I decided to to not bodybuild anymore. It's just I wanted to be an athlete. I don't respect the industry like I did before. It's over -glor over glorified, sexualized, and just overall just not the route I want to take and they don't give you anything for one of these shows like I spent so much money to do this show and I got nothing in return like nothing I got a trophy that was maybe like $25 and that's it so I can't justify like I can't justify doing that again and I understand as you get higher you get more stuff but like when you went overall at a show I should never have to pay for a picture for my show never like, I should not have to do that. There should be pictures of the overall bodybuilding champion of that show, and I should be able to at least get my money back or something, something, a gift card or something where you, you look out for me. And because that didn't happen, and because I see this year after year after year, people busting their butts, I've decided that this isn't the route I want to take. Much respect to everybody. No disrespect. Uh, that's about it, guys. I'm doing other things. You'll see me doing... Uh, Doing a Spartan race sometime this year. I'm probably going to run a half marathon this year. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, CrossFit might be in my future. Yes, I said it. CrossFit might be in my future. But uh, that's it, guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, you can comment, like, whatever you want to do to the video. But uh, th those are just my thoughts. Thanks.